In functional analysis and related areas of mathematics, Fréchet spaces, named after Maurice Fréchet, are special topological vector spaces. They are generalizations of Banach spaces, normed vector spaces that are complete with respect to the metric induced by the norm. Fréchet spaces are locally convex spaces that are complete with respect to a translation invariant metric. In contrast to Banach spaces, the metric need not arise from a norm. Even though the topological structure of Fréchet spaces is more complicated than that of Banach spaces due to the lack of a norm, many important results in functional analysis, like the open mapping theorem, the closed graph theorem, and the Banach-Steinhaus theorem, still hold. Spaces of infinitely differentiable functions are typical examples of Fréchet spaces. Topic definitions Fréchet spaces can be defined in two equivalent ways, the first employs a translation invariant metric, the second a countable family of semi-norms. A topological vector space X is a Fréchet space if and only if it satisfies the following three properties, it is locally convex. Its topology can be induced by a translation invariant metric, i.e. a metric d, x times x r such that d x, y equals d x plus a, y plus a for all a, x, y in x. This means that a subset u of x is open if and only if for every u in u there exists an epsilon greater than zero such that v, d, v, U any hence every translation invariant metric inducing the topology is complete. In other words, X is a complete topological vector space. Note that there is no natural notion of distance between two points of a Fréchet space. Many different translation invariant metrics may induce the same topology. The alternative and somewhat more practical definition is the following, a topological vector space X is a Fréchet space if and only if it satisfies the following three properties, it is a Hausdorff space its topology may be induced by a countable family of semi-norms, k, k equals 0, 1, 2. This means that a subset U of X is open if and only if for every U in U there exists K0 and epsilon greater than 0 such that V, V, U, K it is complete with respect to the family of semi-norms a family P display style math call P of seminorms on X display style X yields a Hausdorff topology if and only if element of P X element of X X equals zero equals zero display style big cap underscore C D O T in math call P X in X X equals zero equals zero a sequence x n in x converges to x in the Fréchet space defined by a family of semi-norms if and only if it converges to x with respect to each of the given semi-norms. Topic: <laughs> Constructing Fréchet spaces. Recall that a seminorm is a function from a vector space X to the real numbers satisfying three properties. For all X and Y in X and all scalars C X 0 display style X GEQ 0 X plus Y X plus Y display style X plus Y leq X plus Y C X equals C 
x display style c c d o t x equals c x if x topic zero actually implies that x zero then as in fact a norm However, seminorms are useful in that they enable us to construct Fréchet spaces, as follows. To construct a Fréchet space, one typically starts with a vector space X and defines a countable family of semi-norms, K on X with the following two properties. If X element of X and X K. Topic zero for all k zero, then x zero. If x n is a sequence in X which is Cauchy with respect to each semi-norm k, then there exists x element of X such that x n converges to X with respect to each semi-norm. K, then the topology induced by these seminorms as explained above turns X into a Fréchet space, the first property ensures that it is Hausdorff, and the second property ensures that it is complete. A translation invariant complete metric inducing the same topology on X can then be defined by D X Y equals K equals zero infinity two minus K X minus Y K one plus X minus Y K X Y element of X Display style D X Y equals sum underscore K equals zero carrot in a T two carrot K F R A C X Y underscore K one plus X Y underscore K Q quad X Y in X Note that the function u u one plus u maps zero infinity monotonically to zero one, and so the above definition ensures that d x y is small if and only if there exists k large such that x ik is small for k equals zero k equals Topic Examples Equals Every Banach space is a Fréchet space, as the norm induces a translation invariant metric and the space is complete with respect to this metric. The vector space C infinity 0, 1 of all infinitely differentiable functions f 0, 1 R becomes a Fréchet space with the seminorms f k equals sup f k x x element of Zero one display style f underscore k equals sup f caret k x x in zero one for every non-negative integer k. 
Here, f k denotes the kth derivative of f, and f zero equals f. In this Fréchet space, a sequence f n of functions converges towards the element f of c infinity zero one if and only if, for every non-negative integer k, the sequence f n k display style f underscore n caret k converges uniformly towards f k the vector space c infinity r of all infinitely differentiable functions f r r becomes a Fréchet space with the seminorms f k n equals sup F K X X element of minus N N display style F underscore K N equals sub F carrot K X X in N N for all integers K N zero the vector space C M R of all m times continuously differentiable functions f r r becomes a Fréchet space with the seminorms f k n equals sup f k x x element of minus n n display style f underscore k n equals sup f caret k x x in n n for all integers n zero and k equals zero M, let H be the space of entire everywhere holomorphic functions on the complex plane. Then the family of seminorms F N equals sup F Z Z N Display style f underscore n equals sub f z z l e q n makes H into a Fréchet space. Let H be the space of entire everywhere holomorphic functions of exponential type tau. Then the family of seminorms f n equals sub Z element of C exp minus tau plus one n z f z Display style f underscore n equals sub underscore z in math b c e x p left left tau plus frac one n right z right f z makes h into a Fréchet space if m is a compact C infinity manifold and b is a Banach space. Then the set C infinity m b of all infinitely often differentiable functions f m b can be turned into a Fréchet space by using as seminorms the suprema of the norms of all partial derivatives. 
If M is a not necessarily compact C infinity manifold which admits a countable sequence Kn of compact subsets, so that every compact subset of M is contained in at least one Kn, then the spaces Cm M, B, and C infinity M, B are also Frechet space in a natural manner. As a special case, every smooth finite dimensional complete manifold M can be made into such a nested union of compact subsets, equip it with a Riemannian metric G which induces a metric D X, y, choose X in M, and let K N equals Y element of M D X Y N display style K underscore N equals Y in M D X Y L E Q N let X be a compact C infinity manifold and V a vector bundle over X let C infinity X V denote the space of smooth sections of V over X choose Riemannian metrics and connections which are guaranteed to exist on the bundles TX and V if S as a section denote its JTH covariant derivative by DJs then S n equals J equals zero n sub x element of M D J S display style S underscore n equals sum underscore J equals zero carrot n sub underscore x in M D carrot J S where is the norm induced by the Riemannian metric is a family of seminorms making C infinity M V into a fresh space, the space R omega of all real valued sequences becomes a Frechet space if we define the kth semi-norm of a sequence to be the absolute value of the kth element of the sequence. Convergence in this Frechet space is equivalent to element-wise convergence, not all vector spaces with complete translation invariant metrics are Frechet spaces. An example is the space LP zero one with P. Topic <laughs> Properties and further notions. If a Frechet space admits a continuous norm, we can take all the seminorms to be norms by adding the continuous norm to each of them. A Banach space, C infinity A, B, C infinity X, V with X compact, and H all admit norms, while R omega and C R do not. A closed subspace of a Frechet space is a Frechet space. A quotient of a Frechet space by a closed subspace is a Frechet space. The direct sum of a finite number of Frechet spaces is a Frechet space. Several important tools of functional analysis which are based on the bare category theorem remain true in Frechet spaces, examples are the closed graph theorem and the open mapping theorem. All Frechet spaces are stereotype. In the theory of stereotype spaces Frechet spaces are dual objects to Bronner spaces. <laughs> <laughs> Differentiation of functions If X and Y are Frechet spaces, then the space L X, y consisting of all continuous linear maps from X to Y is not a Frechet space in any natural manner. This is a major difference between the theory of Banach spaces and that of Frechet spaces and necessitates a different definition for continuous differentiability of functions defined on Frechet spaces. The Gâteaux derivative 
Suppose X and Y are Fréchet spaces, U is an open subset of X, P, U Y is a function, X element of U and H element of X We say that P is differentiable at X in the direction H if the limit D P X H equals lim t 0 1 t p x plus t h minus p x Display style D P X H equals Lim underscore T to zero FRAC one T big P X plus T H P X big exists. We call P continuously differentiable in U if D P U times X Y Display style D P U times X to Y is continuous. Since the product of Fréchet spaces is again a Fréchet space, we can then try to differentiate D P and define the higher derivatives of P in this fashion. The derivative operator p, c infinity 0, 1, c infinity 0, 1 defined by p f equals f is itself infinitely differentiable. The first derivative is given by d p f h equals h Display style d p f h equals h for any two elements f and h in C infinity zero one. This is a major advantage of the Fréchet space C infinity zero one over the Banach space C k zero one for finite k. If p, u y is a continuously differentiable function, then the differential equation x t equals p x t x 0 equals x 0 Element of U Display style x T equals P x T quad x zero equals x underscore zero in U need not have any solutions, and even if does, the solutions need not be unique. This is in stark contrast to the situation in Banach spaces. The inverse function theorem is not true in Fréchet spaces, a partial substitute is the Nash-Moser theorem. <laughs> Fréchet manifolds and Lie groups One may define Fréchet manifolds as spaces that locally look like Fréchet spaces just like ordinary manifolds are defined as spaces that locally look like Euclidean space Rn, and one can then extend the concept of Lie group to these manifolds. This is useful because for a given ordinary compact C infinity manifold M, the set of all C infinity diffeomorphisms F, MM forms a generalized Lie group in this sense, and this Lie group captures the symmetries of M. Some of the relations between Lie algebras and Lie groups remain valid in this setting.
Another important example of a Frechet Lie group is the loop group of a compact Lie group G. The smooth C infinity mappings gamma S1 G multiplied pointwise by gamma 1 gamma 2 T equals gamma 1 T gamma 2 T equals Topic Generalizations Equals If we drop the requirement for the space to be locally convex, we obtain F spaces, vector spaces with complete translation invariant metrics. LF spaces are countable inductive limits of Frechet spaces. Topic Remarks Topic Notes Topic See also Brawner space